we're going to run a jar file that needs command uh, command line input and if you have a jar file and you double click it if it needs command line input it won't display anything it'll act like nothing happened uh, it did run but there was no input for it so we have to open it we have to run it in a slightly different way so my files on the desktop the way uh, you get a command uh, prompt is you press the windows key uh, you can also just uh, click on this windows button here and then type cmd command prompt that's what we want to use enter a faster way to do that is just do windows key cmd enter and then i'm control scrolling the font to be a bit bigger so i want to run this file the way we do it is the command is called java and then you do have to do uh, minus jar uh, and then another space and you have to take this path and type it in here easier said than done if i right click i can go copy as path now i am on windows 11 if you have windows 10 uh, this may be a bit different uh, pasting control v <clears throat> now this right here is the path to the file if you weren't able to right click and copy as path just look here i did it's C colon slash users. That's uh, what everybody's is going to be. This is your username. And mine just happens to be those five letters. Because it's on my desktop, that's right here. There is a backslash in between all of these. And then after desktop is the file name, including the dot JAR. This doesn't need to be quoted. Uh, if there is any space in here, for example, if your username was, uh, for some reason, had a space in it, um, you would need to have the quotes at the beginning and end. Uh, but you just uh, press enter here, and hopefully it's running for you, and you can interact with the program. And you, if uh, you can't close it by interacting with the program you've written, you can just close the window on a running file and it will just close the Java file. And I'm gonna try one more th thing, one more way to run this. So again, it's java-jar. I'm gonna see if I can drag that in. Paste path to file, okay. So I don't know if that'll work for you or not if you're on Windows 10, but I was able to just take this and drag it in. Now, if I do it twice, you'll see that it pasted the file name twice, which is gonna cause problems. Uh, unable to access jar file, and you only wanna paste it in there one time. So go right there, and we're up and running.